Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to talk about how I actually use the shadowing technique to practice my speaking skills. Um, this is especially important for people that are learning English by themselves. Um, they don't have a speaking partner to practice with. So in this video I will actually show you how I use the shadowing technique to practice my speaking skills in English. So let's assume that you already have uh, a book you already have chosen a book something that you are interested about uh, you already have your audio the audio of this book so it doesn't um, have to be a book it could be an article uh, a blog post a a anything that you are interested about or you like it but in this case in this example i'm going to use a book um, uh, YouTube video. I mean, this is the audio part. Um, the first thing after that is I uncover one of my ears, so I can know, I can realize how I am sounding. Um, so I have a uh, feedback uh, using this head, this part of the headset. I can hear the audio book, you know, the native speakers the real pronunciation of the words and with this ear I can hear my own pronunciation and I can fix this pronunciation if I hear the if I hear the it sounds really different from the uh, original audio so let's do it let's I am going to show you how I practice my English using the shadowing technique So I'm here. This is the book. This is a PDF. Um, the book is called. Uh, it's about personal. It's about financial things. Um, the, it's important. That, the important part is that you like the content that you are reading. So I will start the audio. The audio is here. Is a. Uh, Okay, reach that book. That this is the the book. This is the audio format, and I already set on to this audio to start in the chapter that I have in my PDF. So I'm going to practice right now. There is gold everywhere. Most people are not trained to see it. I wish I, wish I, could, I could say acquiring, acquiring wealth was, was easy for me, but it wasn't. wasn't. So, so, in response, response to the question, how do I start, I, I offer the thought process I go through on a day-to-day -day basis. It, it really is easy to find great deals. I promise you that. that. It's just like riding a bike. After a little wobbly, it's a piece of cake. But when it comes to money, it takes determination to get, to get through the wobbling. That's a personal thing. thing. To find so, that's all. So by doing this, you when you are doing this, you try to imitate the intonation, the pronunciation, and the the pace of the speaker. So you do this for, for example, one hour <laughs> or something like that, and you can improve your English in no time. Um, by doing this, you can also can will increase your vocabulary because, for example, uh, here you have questions. You can improve your question making skills. You can improve uh, expressions uh, that native people use, uh, new words like goblin. And if you, okay, I was hearing, I was hearing my my pronunciation and the pronunciation of the audiobook. So I noticed that I have problems with this word. I am not pronouncing this word as uh, the native speaker does. So, when you realize this, you put special attention to this word and try to improve the pronunciation of this specific part of your um, writing material. It's a piece of cake, a popular idiom or phrase I'm not sure, but you know, it's a piece of cake, it's something very popular that you can hear in movies or series or things like that. So here you can imitate how a native, a native speaker 
uh, says uh, this phrase. But when it comes to money, phrasal verbs, it takes determination to get through the goblin. To get through. So by doing this, you are learning a lot of expressions, how to pronounce them, um, using the correct rhythm and pace. Um, you can use this technique also to reduce uh, the, your accent and trying to sound uh, to sound more natural. Um, so depending on what you want, uh, let me change the screen. Um, depending on what you want, you can pay more attention to specific words. Let's say that you you are really interested on or your major interest is to learn new vocabulary well in this case you will pay more attention to those words that sound maybe weird or are the first time that you are hearing those words so you study the audio you look for the meaning of that uh, word and uh, come back to the text to keep practicing you, you also can for example uh, write down the word in a piece of paper if you are interested in if you are using paper um uh, practice with this word you know making maybe examples that are more related with your experiences or something like that now if your major interest is improving your pronunciation and your intonation your rhythm and so on you won't pay too much attention to these specific words uh, maybe you can guess the meaning of those, of those words using the context, you know, because they are um, within sentences or phrases, so you can guess the meaning of the of the words. Okay, this book is about money, so maybe you can guess that goblin is something about goblin. <laughs> um, but the point is that if you are training your pronunciation, uh, you are going, you are not going to pay too much attention to specific words. And uh, now, if you think that it, this is a uh, expression that you can use uh, in a daily day-to-day -day basis for example um, notice I, I already use a phrase that I I hear or I read in this audiobook in this book so this is the good part about shadowing you are learning a lot of things at the same time and practicing a lot of skills at the same time uh, but if you can if you can if you want to uh, to study or to practice a specific skill, for example, vocabulary. You can you want you want to increase your vocabulary. Where well, you you will pay more attention to specific words. Maybe you uh, when you are to, uh, reading this book, you you are going to find new words, new expressions that are not familiar to you. Uh, so you study those words and expressions. But now, if you are interested on in learning or practicing the pronunciation, you are going to uh, you are not going to pay attention or too much attention to these specific words. You are going to be more concentrated, more focused on the pronunciation and the intonation and pace of the speaker, trying to imitate uh, as much as possible this speaker. So that's it in next video. Mm, I'm going to show you how to do this exercise for to improve your fluency so because you know in the end what we are doing is reading uh, but when we are speaking like right now or when you are speaking to someone else you are not reading you have to retrieve data from your brain your ideas or thoughts has to be um, make at the same time as you are speaking or in real time so this is quite different from just breathing so in the next video I'm going to show you how you can use something like this shadowing an audiobook uh, a PDF and the audio material and work on your fluency so that's all thank you for listening to me and have a good one